Hi, welcome back. In this one, we have cos 80, the plus transform of cos 80. Okay, f of t equal to cos 80. And in the previous video, I spoke of Laplace transform for sine 80. I took my time to explain that one into details. I gave you two methods that you choose, the one that you prefer. Please subscribe to this work and let's box on to what we have. All right, so we know that the Laplace transform of a function f of t is L f of t equal to the integral of 0 to infinity f of t times e minus st dt. So dt here is the first derivative of t and f of t is the function given to us. So t is a real number and it lies between 0 to infinity. All right, so for this one, we substitute cos a t here and we continue. So we have integral of 0 to infinity cos a t e to the power minus st dt. Now this becomes a product function. We need to apply integration by part. So like I said earlier, integration by part is very long, a lengthy method. So we will apply um, this method. In the other video, we learned that e to the power i theta equal to what? Cos theta plus i sine theta. We learned this is the imaginary part, which is the same as um, i m e to the power i theta. And this is the real part, which is the same as r e e to the power i theta. All right, so if we got that, then we are interested in this one. Okay, so this is in terms of theta. We are working in terms of cos a t. All right, so from e i theta, which is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta, then we can say that cos theta equal to what? r e e i theta. Okay, but we are working with cos a t, so therefore cos a t is giving us r e e to the power i a t. Okay, so this is what we need to do the calculation. All right, so once we start, we represent cos a t with this one here. So from there, we have our integral of zero to infinity r e e with the power i a t times, we are left with this one, so times e with the power minus s t dt. And this is the Laplace of cos a t. All right, so from here, this part is not really important. If you have this in mind, you just continue with the calculation from there, okay? So now from here, factorize r e out. So we have the real part outside, integral of zero to infinity. We have e i a t times e minus s t. Um, let me close this, d t, all right? So from here, from indices, we just factorize this one out. So we have r e giving us, so we have r e times integral of zero to infinity, e, to the power s minus s outside, uh, we have minus a i t, okay, dt. Now watch carefully. This time this will give us negative s t, and this time this will give us positive a i t, okay, so that is what we have here. So now we integrate this side of the equation, very simple. So we learn that the integral of something like e raised to the power a t is giving us um, 1 over a e raised to the power a t, okay, which is the same as um, e raised to the power a t over a. Now, if the coefficient of t is a and a is representing negative s minus a i, then we can repeat the same process there. So we have e raised to the power minus s minus a i of t. So the integral of this is going to give us 1 over minus s minus a i, okay? e raised to the power the same result. Okay, so as you can see, this is what we are applying. So we use that to integrate that. So now we have our r e multiplying the integral of this function, which is 1 
over minus into bracket s minus a i bracket close e to the power negative s minus a i of t okay so now we need to introduce our upper limit and lower limit so i was supposed to put that here so let me put it here this is zero and this is infinity okay i'll rewrite that function okay so this is it this is what i was supposed to write here now because i'm not taking the limit here on the paper for you to see i'm just jumping and substituting my upper limit and lower limit for t remember t is a real value large enough uh, to be from zero to infinity okay so from here we introduce our upper and lower limit and we have our r e times this one over minus s minus a i e to the power minus s minus a i t here is infinity then we subtract this result from the lower limit the same thing one over minus s minus a i e to the power minus s minus a i into zero okay so we can close the bracket here okay on the right hand side this side becomes one e to the power negative s because we have zero here this is one one time this function will give us the same thing okay so let's do that so we are having r e multiplying this side is zero so we have a negative here don't forget we have a negative function here then this is one times this so we are having one over negative s minus a i so that is it so like i i said this side is one one time this will give us the same thing okay so from here this negative can take care of this one so we have our real part times negative negative we have one over s minus e i okay so from here we rationalize the result now for complex numbers if i have something like a over let's say three plus four i so if i want to rationalize this most of you are aware i'll consider the denominator change the sign of the complex part the sign of the complex part is plus four i so when you change it it becomes negative four i so we have 3 minus what? 4i as a conjugate. So use this to multiply both the numerator and the denominator as 3 minus 4i over 3 minus 4i. This time, this, this time, this is what we call, we have rationalized the function, okay? So we repeat that step here and we have re multiplying what is the opposite sign for the imaginary part is plus so we have one over s minus a i times s plus a i over s plus a i okay so now this time this will give us the same result there so we have s plus a i you divide this by this time this you have s square this time this you have plus e i s this time this you have minus e i s this time this you have minus e square i squared remember that in complex numbers i square is negative one so this side is negative one we can substitute that there this is our r e so our r e is still multiplying this to take care of this this is negative one changing this sign to a square then we have s plus a i divided by s square plus a square i said that i square is negative one you can check my videos under complex numbers intro to complex numbers okay so from here we are only interested in the real part okay so we can rewrite this equation as r e to bracket s over s square plus a square plus a i over s square plus a square now when you look at this very carefully this is the imaginary part this is the real part we are interested in the real part so we pick this 
So the Laplace transform of cos AT is equal to this part of the calculation. So S over S square plus A square. As simple as that. So thank you for joining me here. Watch the video under Laplace transform for sine AT. I have taken my time there. I'll explain into details. You can use another method I use there to arrive at the same answer you have here. Then that will be all for this one. Thank you very much for joining me. This is Tutor Think.